lot of people in the house say, Ugh. Hey everybody, so we got a little quickie here. Uh, some people asking me about shape wipes. Let's take a look at what a shape wipe is. We got Cinelera all ready to go to put a transition in there. So let's go over here and just say, ah, ha. Ah. And then let's go down here and take a look. Okay, so what they call shape wipes is what uh, some people call alpha magic. Basically what it does is it takes a, a gradient and shifts the alpha from black to white along a sliding scale and so you end up with a transition between two clips that follows the transition of the black and white like you see here. Uh, what I did was I went ahead and made a shortcut to my shape wipe directory which is under user bin Cinelera shape wipe. That's where you can store yours if you want to make any custom ones, but you don't necessarily have to uh, store it there because you can browse to any place on your hard drives. Uh, for instance, right over here, I've got some special effects, and I used to have Pinnacle Studio 9, so I copied all the alpha effects over from Pinnacle. And these are just PN JPEGs and PNG files. Um, just gradients of black to white and they import just fine and can be used. Uh, for instance, here's a clock wipe. You see the way this is structured, uh, you're going to go from white to black or black to white, so what it's going to end up doing is tracking a circle on your screen. And you can get real creative. You can use clouds here if you want to dissolve something in splotchily. It's really good for like teleport effects. Uh, there is no limit to the type of patterns you can do if you take a look at all this stuff I got with Pinnacle. And also there is a package if you don't have access to uh, various other shape wipes uh, that is you can link to from the Acurad repository. Acurad? Acurad? Anyway, you can, uh, I'll put a link down below for that. And they have got a big massive bunch of effects themselves. That's all it is. So if you want to take a look, let's say, here we go, Bark Ubuntu. That's pretty cool. Let's see what this does when we use it. We're going to go over here to Cinelera. We're going to grab our shape wipe, dump it in, right click on it, show. Browse. And what was it that we had here? It was bar kubuntu. So we look bar kubuntu.png. Select that. Tell it OK. Our duration is two seconds. So if we take a look at what we've done. That's what we get. So let's take a look. Let's find another one that we want to use here. Find something a little neater. Uh, bar woman, nah. Let's not do that. Let's do. Let's do the clock because you see the clock here. We took a look at that. Go over to Cinelera. Right click, show. Change it to clock wipe. Now when we take a look at what we've done, simple as that. And you want to take a look at something really cool here. Let's go to clouds1.png and you can see how that does. Show it. Change it to clouds1.png. Now, when we preview it, and you can see how that would be pretty cool in a teleport effect. So, how to make your own shape wipes if you can't find enough of them out there? Well, I'm not a GIMP guru by any means, but I'll show you the basics of how to make it. I'm going to go down here to GIMP. I'm going to make a new. 720 by 480 doesn't matter what the background is click OK now we got a 720 by 480 or NTSC resolution you can also do this you know 720p 1080p okay so what we're going to want to do here we're going to go up choose a gradient the 
blend tool. Gradient's going to be, you know, black to white, white to black. It doesn't really matter. Opacity 100. Mode is going to be normal. So let's do kind of a diagonal one. Let me resize this a little bit. We're going to click up here because this is our start point. Click down here because that's our end point. And now we have a gradient of black to white, white to black. Now if we save this over in a directory where we can use it in Cinelera, go up here. I've already done it. Click on show, browse to a little one called edge wipe, and now, there we go, and you can see in our edge wipe, the reason there was kind of a circle fill is because the, the way the gradient worked out is there's a circle here. So that, in a nutshell, is uh, how to do a simple custom shape wipe in Cinelera. And again, you are only limited by what you can do in the GIMP, think up, or find out there on the internet. Um, you've got all of these that are available at the Accurad repository. And then if you have any others from Movie Maker or Pinnacle or anything, you can just port those right in and pretty much do anything you want with this. So I hope that answers the questions, and I'm going to go hang up something green in my living room right now and uh, have some fun as we progress into some pretty cool chroma key stuff. So I will see you for that next time. Otherwise, I hope this has been helpful, and let's see what you can do. Hi.